Yeah, exactly. There's going to be a lot of women hairless for Christmas and I'm Kai now. Jackson, federal agents yeah, make true. Big moves in Baltimore City to get criminals off the streets. Prosecutors say six gang members are indicted on a wide range of charges, including murder, and a man is sentenced for a string of carjackings. It comes nearly four months after state leaders announced a plan to fight crime in Baltimore. This Al Capone model of prosecution is designed to take violent people off the streets by any appropriate legal means necessary. Fox 45's Alexa Ashwell will take a closer look at the crackdown on carjackings in just a few minutes. Our team coverage begins with Jeff Abel. Did that Negro say the Al Capone? He definitely did. Okay. Oh, yeah. And, and he's talking about the RICO charges. Okay. Let's see. They talk, and, and I mean, why don't they use this on the on the uh, window washing boys? Squeegee boys? The squeegee. Now, yeah. They protect the class. Squeegee boys. You right. just affect the use that squeegee. You get it right. With Jeff Abel and the charges facing the alleged gang members. Jeff. Well, this sweeping indictment goes straight to the core of the black gorilla gang family. And <laughs> oh, those guys. Uh -oh. The what gorilla gang family? Hey, Rick <laughs> Ross, is Rick Ross part of that? No, no, no. Not as somebody else. The I heard gorilla? of that gorilla gang family. Yeah, that's it's Baltimore. Great. That's big in Baltimore. Yeah, big Meacher song? No, that's BMF. I, I don't know. That's BMF. But the black oh, gorilla. Yeah, yeah. yeah, BGF. BGF is, I know that, that they. that's big in Baltimore. Yeah. I don't know where else they do that. Um, I think in Oakland. Oh, okay. Oakland, yeah, be, black gorilla family big in Oakland, man, and um, a lot of and then the California prisons, they were the um, that's actually like what the um, all the blacks claim in in California prisons. I don't know if anymore, but back in the seventies and the eighties, that was that that was the no matter what you was on the street when you went to prison, you was BGF. So yeah, that's 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 crazy. Wow. Wow. Black the rule of family. Um that's some serious shit. They the ones that killed that cop too a couple years ago. I think two cops in New York. The guy killed a couple cops and he fled to Baltimore. I Greetings from Rumble. To the core salute, of the man. Black salute, Johnny Red, man. Gang family. And it is a family with a very strict code of conduct that can be lethal to anyone who fails to comply. Investigators say the Black Gorilla family has been terrorizing city streets for almost a decade. And according to federal yeah. prosecutors, the highly organized gang has brought guns, drugs, and death to an already violent city. The Black Gorilla family is singularly the most significant threat to public safety in Baltimore for the past decade or longer. Great. A federal yep. indictment unseen today supremacy? charges six men associated with the gang with six murders, 11 shootings, and any number of attempted murders and robberies. And among those charged is Baltimore rapper YGG Tay, whose name is Devante Harrison. YGG Tay. Hey, did you see the list of the, the names? I swear one of those dudes' names was Barack. Did y'all see that? <laughs> I'm sure Barack is Barack is probably a goddamn Yeah, Barack Olds. <laughs> Devante, Wayne, Joshua, Tyrell. Yeah, these this the black gorilla family, man. They serious, man. And any number of attempted murders and robberies. And among those charged is Baltimore rapper YGG Tay, whose name is Devante Harrison. According to the indictment, Harrison partnered more than a decade ago with a BGF member and began supplying heroin and cocaine to street level drug shops in Baltimore City. And when a customer failed to pay his drug debt, Prosecutors say Harrison supplied the BGF member with ten thousand dollars and a gun, with the which the BGF member used to shoot the man to death. On another day, prosecutors say defendant Barack Old shot and killed a neighborhood drug trafficker while she was pushing her infant daughter in a stroller. The reason? She failed to obtain permission from BGF. They are Damn. ruthless. They are organized. They are cunning. Damn. That's that's gangster. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is this is serious. 
$10,000 and a gun, with the, which the BGF member used to shoot the man to death. On another day, prosecutors say defendant Barack Old shot and killed a neighborhood drug trafficker while she was pushing her infant daughter in a stroller. The reason? She failed to obtain permission from BGF. They are ruthless, they are organized, they are cunning, and they are too often two steps ahead of law enforcement. <laughs> hey, this summer, a new violent crime reduction unit They're more created. effective than the Baltimore police. Yeah, these, these are scary, man. BGF, man. These are scary motherfuckers, man. Yep. Need to get one step ahead of violent criminals. Violence has been at extraordinary rates for far too long. And exceptional times require exceptional actions. Former prosecutor Theru Vignaraja predicts today's indictment will have an impact. When they come in with the heavy hammer of federal judge and federal sentencing guidelines, you know that that's going to send a clear signal that this violence is not going to be tolerated. All six defendants are charged tonight with federal racketeering and conspiracy charges, charges which, if found guilty, could put them away for life. We're live tonight, Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. Good thing I was muted because I snorted when they said, oh, they're going to be afraid of what's going on there when they're, when, when they're prosecuted. You said, man, they, they're not afraid of too much, man. 